Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to look at the intermediate value theorem for derivatives. So not every function can be a derivative. A derivative must have the intermediate value property. So that being said, the intermediate value theorem for derivatives says that if a and b are any two points in an interval on which f is differentiable, then the derivative of f takes on every value between the derivative of f at a and the derivative of f at b. So in this example, we're trying to decide if any function has the unit step function as its derivative. So if we think about the unit step function, that's our step graph where we've got all of these flat horizontal chunks of our graph along all of our integer y values. And based on the intermediate value theorem for derivatives, if we pick some a and b values to differentiate our function at, then the derivative of f should take on every value between the derivative of f at a and the derivative of f at b. Well, if we were to pick some a value, say over here, say we picked an a value of negative 0.5. Well, based on the unit step function, that would get rounded down to negative 1. So f of negative 0.5 rounds down to negative 1. But if we pick something a little bit to the right of 0, say we do positive a half, let's call that our b value. If we do f of positive 1 half, that gets rounded down to 0. So we've got function values at negative 1 and we've got function values at 0. But based on the intermediate value theorem, our function would have to take on every single y value between those. And if we look at our picture, there are no y values between negative 1 and 0. This graph just jumps between the integers and never ever includes any fractions or decimal values. So we're leaving out huge chunks of y values by only looking at these integers. So because of that, then this step function cannot be the derivative of any other function. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.